Hi everyone, the topic that I would like to discuss with you today is about World Youth Day. Saint John Paul II has been known to be an apostle of the young, no? following the young people in their spiritual journey. So let's begin with the idea of World Youth Day. Its concept of World Youth Day has been influenced by the light life movement that has existed in Poland since 1960s where during summer camps Catholic young adults over 13 days of camp celebrated a day of community so what is this light life movement it is a movement of renewal in the Catholic Church according to the teaching of the Second Vatican Council and this movement originated in Poland through the efforts of Father Francisk Blachnik. So this is where the idea of World Youth Day came from. No? So there was this community in Poland no? where there was this kind of a summer camp where it is uh, a day of called a day of community. So this was the perhaps we can say the first uh, idea of World Youth Day and St. John Paul is aware of this kind of activity okay now let's proceed with a short history of World Youth Day many people say that World Youth Day is Pope John Paul II's invention but St. John Paul II used to say that it was the young people themselves who invented this no? so he would always recurringly say that this is our invention no? in one of, of his gathering in Rome telling the young people that this is our invention no? and we will call it World Youth Day no? we, will, we will do this the next year, the year after this gathering that he invited no? because there was actually started when there was a holy year of the redemption in 1983 to 1984 it was 1950 years after the passion of Jesus one of the activities that Pope John Paul II decided to hold was a gathering of young people on Palm Sunday so this was during a holy week no during a uh, Palm Sunday and at that time the, the organizing committee expected just about 60,000 participants but surprisingly there were 250,000 came in the in that event no? and then in 1985 the UN United Nations proclaimed an international year of youth no? and the Pope felt that the church concern for the younger generation should be made known and so he issued another invitation to young people to come to Rome for Palm Sunday and then again the response was huge no about 300,000 young people gathered in churches around the city for times of prayer and catechesis and then they met together in St. Peter's Square to take part in the ceremonies with the Pope or Pope John Paul II so after these two gatherings many people were left wondering why there had been such a huge response and what young people were seeking no and in, in the mind of Pope John Paul II he expected it no? he knew that young people felt the need to meet together to share their experiences to listen to words of faith to look to the future together and to renew and confirm their commitment that's why on December 20, 1985 he announced no? Pope John Paul II announced the institution of World Youth Day and that it was to be celebrated every year in the diocese so the first the first official the first official youth day was held in the diocese in 1986 so this was the first official world youth day and then the first international gathering was held in 1987 in buenos aires argentina no a strong message to a country that was emerging from di dictatorship okay and then so the fourth 
World Youth Day in 1989 was held in Santiago de Compostela in Spain. No? This is a well-known center of faith in Europe that attracts huge numbers of young pilgrims from all over the world. And then followed by its sixth World Youth Day in Chitiskova in Poland in 1991, which was the first great meeting of young people from Eastern and Western Europe after the fall of the Berlin Wall. No? And then the 8th World Youth Day in 1993, it was held in Denver in the United States no, in 1993. And then in 1995, World Youth Day was held in Manila, Philippines, in our country. So in spite of the scarcity of available financial resources, the 10th World Youth Day turned out to be the largest gathering ever known. No? So it was in the Philippines that the, the gathering and the pilgrims, the youth, all over the world gathered and it was the highest the largest gathering ever known in the world youth day no? and in 1997 the 12 world youth day took place in Paris and then so many people many young people filled the streets and squares during their faith and then in in the year 2000 it went back to Rome in 2002 it was held in Canada and then in 2005 at, at that time, Pope John Paul II already were not able to attend because he already passed away. You know? So Pope Benedict XVI presided over that World Youth Day which happened in Cologne in Germany. You know? It was centered on Eucharistic adoration, recalling the adoration of the Magi whose relics are kept in the city cathedral. Now in 2008, it was a 23rd World Youth Day which held in Sydney in Australia. No? So the land of the Holy Spirit, a continent that was new and distant for many but uh, but World Youth was finally brought close to many youths in that southern hemisphere. And then World Youth Day returned to Spain in the city of Madrid. No? And then, uh, so today, speaking of today, the World Youth Day will be held in Lisbon, Portugal in 2023. So, what is really the purpose of World Youth Day? There are three important purpose of World Youth Day. Number one is celebrating and putting trust in the young. So, young uh, youth and young adults are not only the future of the church but are active participants in the in the church you know? so this world youth day helps to prepare these young men and women to bring about Christ mission in the world and to equip them to be missionary disciples you know? so world youth day brings together young people from the four corners of the earth where the Holy Father is able to entrust the church and its mission to younger generation. Second is making pilgrimage, no? understanding that young people are on a journey. You know? The act of going on a pilgrimage is an essential component of the World Youth Day experience. No? It is taking root from the ancient times where people of faith have made great journeys from Abraham and Moses to the early Christians who traveled to the ends of the earth to share the good news or to spread the gospel and lastly encountering the catholic community you know, like the disciples on mount tabor you know, world youth day participants have a great opportunity to experience a transformative event you no know. indeed this event has changed them you know, their faith grow and and that this transformative events is to use you no know, use this moment to grace to equip themselves for the great work that awaits them in the everyday valleys of of life you know. so that was the purpose of world youth day now let what is the traditional process you know? the traditional process is that this world youth day is usually celebrated with a biblical theme you know? so when it happened here in our country the biblical theme was as the father sent me so i am sending you no it is also commonly celebrated in a similar way 
to many events in the church and the most emphasized and well-known traditional theme is the unity and presence of numerous different cultures no? so flags and other national declarations are displayed among mainly young people to show their attendance at the events and proclaim their own themes of uh, Catholicism no? such is usually done through the chants and singing of other national songs involving a Catholic theme no? but over the course of the major events taking place national objects are traded between pilgrims no? flags, shirts, crosses and other Catholic I I I icons are carried among pilgrims which are later traded as souvenirs to other people from different countries of the world no? the most awaited in this in this uh, event is the arrival of the Pope's mobile no? when the popes when, the, when they met the pope that was their most awaited part no? and then with this final mass held at that event no? so Pope Benedict XVI somehow criticized uh, a tendency to view this event as a kind of rock festival no? he stressed that the event should not be considered a variant of modern youth culture but as the fruition of a long exterior and interior path now you might be wondering what what the are the events during that that uh, one week one week of celebration no? first uh, these are the general no? the general events that would happen during that celebration no? so number one we have world youth day opening mass and then morning catechesis and masses and mass and then youth festival no we have concerts we have talks exhibits and music at select uh, locations no and then there is this papal welcome ceremony when the pope arrives no and then there was this way of the cross that, that, so it was a kind of pilgrimage no and then evening candlelight vigil with the pope and lastly a morning papal mass so these are the general events during this uh, celebration of World Youth Day. Now let's talk about World Youth Day in the Philippines. So in 1995, World Youth Day happens in the Philippines. No? It was the first Asian country to host the World Youth Day no? from January, 15, January 10 to 15, 1995 in Manila. So as you can see in the picture, the this is uh, somehow sung of the shots during that event no? and the official theme song for World Youth Day in that year was released in 1984 entitled Tell the World of His Love so this is where this song was born no? and it is composed by Trina Milamide and the concluding people mass at Luneta Park was estimated to have drawn more than 5 million people a record for World Youth Day. So that was uh, what happened. For our reflection, indeed this initiative of Pope John Paul II helps young people learn what it means to follow Jesus Christ and to live as his disciples today, empowering them to serve others and to work towards a world built on the vision and values of the reign of God. Likewise, it helps young people grow in faith as they experience life in community and other people with different cultures and actively participate in the mission of Jesus Christ and His Church. Lastly, it promotes the growth of healthy, competent, caring, and faith-filled young people. The Church is concerned for the whole person addressing the young people's spiritual needs in the context of his or her whole life. Hopefully, this can foster positive adolescent development and growth in both Christian discipleship and identity so this event will help them know the mission as Christians so that is all for my discussion about World Youth Day so if you have questions or clarifications feel free to message me thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell